What's up guys and welcome back to That Chick Angel TV. It's me, Angel, and this is my 27 week maternity pregnancy update of my geriatric pregnancy. If this is your first time tuning into my channel, thank you so much. Make sure you click that subscribe button as well as click the bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. I have a very busy house. If you didn't know this, I have three kids already. I have a nine-year-old son as well as four-year-old twin boys and this baby in my belly is baby number four so this pregnancy update what did i want to tell you guys one i did my blood sugar the glucose test where you have to drink the orange liquid it's like a like a soda a very sweet soda and um you get your blood drawn an hour later i did that um i haven't got my test results back but i'm pretty sure i don't have um gestational diabetes i'm almost positive i don't but that was a good visit we got to hear the heartbeat of the baby um kai got to do <laughs> the little doppler well the doctor did the doppler kai held the little machine so he was really psyched about that come close to your mom now we're going to listen to the baby's heartbeat well, everybody one second one second one second do you hear it do you hear it do you hear it anybody? How is it? It's good? How did you know? Um, Are you a doctor? Wow! <laughs> How did you know that it's good? You're absolutely right. So you also want to work here? How much do you charge? How much money he gotta give How me? How much do you have to give you? We'll take you because if you know already that the heartbeat is good... So that was the biggest thing that I've done. I really haven't been seeing my doctor much. I won't see him again for another four weeks so I won't see him again until I'm like 30 weeks because I was 26 weeks when I did the test so 30 weeks is when I'll see my doctor I can't believe I'll be 30 weeks and less than three weeks that's like blowing <laughs> my mind so the biggest thing I've been working on here lately is trying to find a doula so um most of you all know my story of my first birth I wanted to do all natural in the hospital no medication but I had a really mean nurse who basically made my labor so difficult because she wouldn't allow me to move yada 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 I spent eight hours in agonizing pain not being able to do anything to actually help relieve any other pain I was going through and by the time the doctor showed up he broke my water he wanted to start Pitocin I just didn't have the energy to bear through it anymore so sorry I keep pulling with these eyebrows I think there's like a piece of lint on them not eyebrows eyelashes um, <clears throat> my second one, um, they asked me to get an epidural because I was having twins. I had them vaginally, um, but, and I let, I did the epidural just because I didn't, the excuse they gave me to get an epidural, I was okay with. And that was, if things go awry trying to deliver the second twin and they have to switch over to a cesarean very quickly, it would just be easier if there was an epidural already in me. So, that was fine. However... The nurses after I had the baby were very neglectful, almost bled out, could have died. So I have been contemplating getting a doula. Um, for those of y'all don't know, doula is like a birth assistant. It's not a midwife, so they do not have the license to just help you deliver a baby um, without another, I guess, practitioner there. Um, so this would be someone who would be there to support me and my husband, during the labor and delivery process as well as making sure that my wants and desires are articulated to the correct people while we're at the hospital um i specifically wanted a black doula because if y'all don't know there's a huge epidemic when it comes to um black maternal health care where black women are dying at an extraordinary higher rate after or during birthing a child and these are not like women who were already sick these are not women who came from low-income neighborhoods where they didn't have adequate um, prenatal care these are black women of all walks of life educated insured getting the the top medical care but um, due to systematic racism are not receiving the care they should be receiving during the labor and delivery process so that was kind of the case of what happened to me when I had the twins not kind of it was the case they neglected me just because of their perception of black women in pain so I wanted to have a black doula who already has that in her head of things to watch out for and making sure that 
we didn't fall into that same trap again this time because I actually I do have a little bit of PTSD because of it um I'm a little um I'm a little nervous about going back into a hospital setting however I do not feel comfortable enough to birth at home or at a birthing center um <clears throat> which might be ass backwards but that's just where I am mentally however in my search to find a doula a black doula where they at? Like, there are several that exist, but either they're not available, <laughs> they're out of my price range, um, or they're not calling me back. So, I'm taking this as a sign from God <laughs> that maybe I just don't need a doula and he's just going to watch over me during the process. Because at the end of the day, uh, without his assistance, it doesn't matter how many people I have in the room, God has got to be the one to take care of me. So... I am really struggling with that. My birthing plan, like I said, is to deliver with the same doctor I've delivered my first three children with, my first two pregnancies, and to have a doula and to do this unmedicated. I really want to have an experience where I am left alone, pretty much, and allowing my body to do what it knows how to do. That is one thing that my body has let me know, without a shadow of a doubt, when it comes to getting babies out, it does right by me it does right by my children however <clears throat> hospitals i feel like a lot of times see pregnancy as a i don't want to say a sickness but as a problem that they must treat and i don't see it as a problem i see it as like a stage in life i want to allow my body to do what i know it can do while also having people monitoring me not interfering unless there's something going wrong but monitoring me to make sure nothing is going wrong so I don't know it has just been a struggle and like one doula who seemed <laughs> she seemed amazing she's just too far away she's in orange county i'm in the valley that is easily a two-hour drive and i'm not delivering in the valley i'm delivering in santa monica so there's like a whole nother travel ex uh, extent to it but like her prices she starts at three thousand dollars and while she's probably worth every penny i'm just not willing to put that much towards a doula i'm just not at all um, she also teaches hypnobirthing, which I'm kind of getting interested in. And I might pay to take some classes in that. Um, but I'm debating. I'm debating. But I really do. I want a natural birth. I don't want an ep another epidural. Not that I've had bad reactions to epidurals. Like I've never, you know, I know there are people who get epidurals and then all of a sudden they can't walk. They're having back pains. Only thing, uh, after I want to say little Marcus, I got really nauseous. No, no, no. Was it the twins? One of them. No, no, no. Little Marcus. After little Marcus, I was really nauseous. And I felt like it was because of the epidural. And they kept saying, it's not that. I was like, take it out of my back. <laughs> so when they did, the nausea went away. So anyways, um, I just, I don't want, I don't want anything that's not necessary. That's really what it is. And I feel like in Western medicine, a lot of things that are given to us, especially when it comes to birthing children, is unnecessary. It's all about the hospital's liability. And I'm not here for it. <laughs> it's just... Pretty much, like, I'm not here for it. I want to be able, the less medication I'm on, the less chance that I'll have to have a cesarean, which I'm not trying to have. Like, I ain't, if I didn't have to have it with the twins, I'm definitely not trying to have a cesarean with this fourth uh, child. So, I just want to give myself the best opportunity to have this baby natural. So, I know one thing for sure, we're going to try to labor at home for as long as possible. Um, and that's where I really feel like I need the doula because I need someone who can gauge it's time for you to leave. So, I don't know, y'all pray for me. I'm trying to figure out how that's how that's gonna go. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but I know I have a little bit of time. Also, the other thing, sorry, I feel like I'm all over the place, but you all are getting the update. I'm trying to find a doula that will get along with my husband. For those of y'all who've watched my channel, you know my husband is Mr. Complain About Everything. And he's very particular when it comes to people. He's very black or white. He either is going to get along with you or he's not. It's not, he doesn't have many gray areas <laughs> with folk. And so finding someone that does not fall in that I don't get along with you area is like also a bit of stress. Even though I know my husband would never purposefully be a dick to someone that is helping us, he also is under a lot of high pressure during labor and delivery. Even though he's not going through it, I, he probably loves me more than anybody on this world, on this earth. So to see me going through something that uh, puts you on the brink of life and death, um, it's stressful for him. So I don't want anybody that's going to irritate him. 
I want him to be as relaxed as he possibly can to help me be relaxed. So I don't know. Y'all pray about that. What are y'all thoughts? Has anybody out there used a doula? Let me know in the comments below. And if you've had a hospital experience that you're just like, yo, make sure you watch out for this. Give me some some clues below. I'm not a first time mom, but I've, I've realized that like all these experiences are different. You just never know what you're gonna get. So I just wanna make sure that I am as prepared as possible and basically able to have the birth that I know the Lord wants for me which is a glorious one. All right, guys, I'm gonna make sure I show you all a belly shot and I will be back next week with another pregnancy update. Oh, I didn't tell you the size of the baby. Let me tell you that real quick and then I'll let you all go. Shoulder baby, according to my Ovia app, is the size of a gas lantern, <laughs> like a camping lantern. I love this goddamn on app. Um, and what else? So the baby uh, brain can control his lungs, regulate his body temperature, um, obviously I'm over here. If y'all can't see, I'm getting sweaty, but my office is kind of hot too. Uh, let's see here. Um, it's sending signals to the rest of its body. Um, let's, uh, he, oh, the baby is opening and closing its eyes. Sweet Pea is doing that. Uh, if y'all didn't know, I'm not finding out the gender of the baby. Cause I know sometimes people, this is their first time watching and they're like, Oh, what are you having? I'm not finding out. Um, <clears throat> what else? It is about the size of a bunch of bananas and weighs over two pounds. Let's see here. I still got that good old constipation. It don't say that. Um, but you see, it talks about hemorrhoids, um, increasing immobility, leg pain. Luckily, not too much. Like, it does take a little bit more for me to stand up and I get butt cramps. Mm. It says that my hair should be getting... Uh, hair and skin and nails should be getting thicker and longer. We're going to see, dear God. Let's pray that this really gets this alopecia together. And it says you may be experiencing dizziness, flatulence, who don't fart, nausea, con a nasal constipation, <laughs> and uh, congestion. Why did I say constipation? Nasal congestion. And then there's a chance you might also develop symphysis, symphysis pubic dysfunction. Um, a disorder caused by pregnancy hormone relaxing that makes your pelvic joint particularly unstable and needs support. Mm, mm hmm I don't feel like I got that. All right, guys. <laughs> Again, like, subscribe, and share, and I will talk to you all later.